Blind Date with Richie Blackmore. Richie Blackmore reviews the sounds of October 1971. It's John Lennon. I've just realized. Is it his new LP? I really like it. I have heard three tracks off it, but I haven't heard this one. I am going to buy it. All the tracks are pretty good, especially the one about Paul McCartney. It would be a great record if it didn't have so much bad feeling about it. I didn't enjoy this track very much, it was very average. The musicianship is not great but that's not where John Lennon is at. Oh yes, the voice seems well back here, there is nothing much you can say. He was the governor, and that's it. It's a fantastic record, the riffs are so good. Did you know he hits a false harmonic right in the middle of this by pulling a string? It's very hard to do, but he was brilliant, wasn't he? It sounds like Dylan during the intro. Is it Marmalade? Actually I quite like it. It's very harmless, it sounds like they're having fun. I doubt if it would make it as a single, but it's a song I would probably play drafts to. That's not putting it down because I often play drafts to records I like. This is quite good but I don't know who it is. It's not Jethro Tull, is it? It's very similar, there are good chord progressions there, just like the Beatles used to do. It reminds me of something else, and I know that voice. Is it Mike Harrison? He used to be in Spooky Tooth and had a girlfriend in Hamburg when I was there. He would be very big if he was better organized. We wanted to get him for Deep Purple when we started, but he didn't want to know. He's a great singer. Is this the Melody Maker staff band? I think I recognize it now, the guitarist is speeding up. The song isn't bad, I like the violin. It's very coarse, but the guitar needs speeding up a lot. It can't be East of Eden, and it's certainly not family. It's Slade isn't it? They're a good group because they don't care about the notes, and there's a public wanting that. Another group might be too inhibited to do what they do. It's Diana Ross. It started well. I thought it was going to be a blues thing. She has really got it made as an actress and a comedian. She is probably the most talented girl in the world, although I don't go much for her records. I haven't bought anything of hers because I don't like Tamla Motown. It seems rather soulless to me. They have some good musicians but they don't step out of line. The backings are always great though. Incidentally, the Four Tops latest is great. Is it Buffy? It must be someone like her. It sounds like she is enjoying herself and there is probably a big market for this kind of thing. But it's not my type of stuff. It sounds like Joe Cocker or Rod Stewart trying to do a Ray Charles. It's a very good voice. It's the old Buddy Holly song. A great arrangement. Is the singer well known? He's really good and very much full of feeling. Very very good. I'll take that home with me. Is this anything to do with James Brown? I would say that this group is Perigene Lumberjack and the Toadstools. Wrong, take it off. There is really too much of this stuff around. It's a waste of time. 